This is going to be our intermolecular forces workshop. And uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, this has a lot of pictures in it, and I'm going to walk you through those pictures. So the first thing we want to understand is when we're talking about intermolecular forces, that these are the forces between two different molecules or atoms or ions, but two different things. And so we've got one molecule of H2O and another molecule of H2O, and there is an intermolecular force between them. And perhaps you'll recognize this intermolecular force as hydrogen bonding. Uh, so, but that's the first thing. And we don't use this term in this class, but a covalent bond would be an intramolecular force, where an intramolecular force is a force in which it's within the same molecule. And so, uh, intermolecular, or I said it's interstate, is a highway that goes between states, and an intrastate highway or an intrastate uh, road would only be in one state at a time. And uh, the first thing we have to understand is a little bit about the difference between bonds and intermolecular forces. So. Uh, and this table attempts to uh, propose and give you typical energies for ionic and covalent bonds. And those are much larger than, well, the ion-ion force is the ionic bond. So it's true, these two are the same. But the rest of them are much smaller. Um, so hydrogen bond, dipole-dipole force, and a dispersion force are all much smaller. And so uh, I'll make this point. So a hydrogen bond is not a real bond. It is an intermolecular force. And that's because it is so much weaker than a covalent bond or an ionic bond. So what type of forces generally involve more energy? Covalent bonds or IMF of covalent molecules? Well, those would be covalent bonds.